Today, we're making croissants. So croissants are French bread. They're pastry bread. They're really common in French bakeries. So today, I'm going to teach you how to make that and my own method of making this chocolate croissant. They're super easy to make and it depends on patience. Really relies on patience. If you're, bitch, if you're new to my channel, hello there, make sure to subscribe and press the application bell. In my bowl of love flour and sugar, added yeast and salt, salt, mix it, mix it together and make a little hole in the center. So I'll go ahead and uh, have some lukewarm water add into it half of an egg the other half we'll be using it for the egg wash so i'll beat it and put it in the center and let's do so here my flour is a combination of bread bread flour and cake flour or you might just use the same combination i'll go ahead and add just about one tablespoon of butter this should be uh, temperature butter so i'll go ahead and work it into my dough very well so we're going ahead and refrigerate our dough overnight or just for maybe for four hours so it depends on you. So like make it like a night before you start. Let's move it into our butter. So I butter, I put it into some plastic bag. Just a plastic little bag. So if you got a Ziploc bag, it's way easier. So I'm just going to work it, work it until I have... The butter. So the butter is just like firm, but it's soft to the touch. So I'll go ahead and refrigerate the butter too. We're moving on back. Took our dough back and we're started again. So I'll go to flower my workplace. So I'll work on my dough with a rolling pin. Go ahead and roll it. At the same time, still press it on it because the dough is really firm. Like, really frozen. Go ahead and continue. Continue until I, I straighten my and roll my, my dough. So here I'm just making sure that I could cover my butter. So I'll go ahead and re-roll it before I put my butter into the center. So I'll place my butter into center and fold it together. And press between the edges, the center, everything. And what we'll do here, flip it over. I flipped it over and I'm going to continue rolling. Roll until I have a straight rectangle, really long rectangle. This is croissant. It needs a lot of energy, a lot of patience to achieve those nice, lovely layers. A lot of patience and a lot of work. So I'll just be using my hand to like straighten the edges to be a clean rectangle. Now we're making the double fold. Get it into the first dough to like almost the center. And the second we fold on top. And now we go for our fast fold. And I'll wrap it into some plastic 
fill and place it in into a refrigerator for one hour. Yeah, one hour. We're back with it. Okay. Yeah, it's been one hour now. I got my my doughy, my croissant dough. So I'll go ahead. The same process we made for the first time. That's what we're gonna repeat. But this time, why are we doing the fold twice? I'm just making sure my croissant is in a rectangle firm. We really need to keep that rectangle firm. We need that rectangle firm. We need to work out some maths here. So I'll go ahead, go ahead. Then I'll fold it. This is our first fold. Now I'll repeat the process with it and sprinkle some flour. We don't need just a little bit of flour. Do not stick with our board. So I'll continue working it out again. The same thing. So great. Now after straighten out, uh, time to fold again. And I'm just gonna reroll roll a little bit, I'll roll it just a little before folding it with the film. You could see, guys, the puff pastry. See those nice, lowy layers. <laughs> this is how it looks. I will wrap it into a plastic wrap and refrigerate for another one hour. We're back. After one hour now, I'm gonna sprinkle some flour in my board, and I will re I will re roll my my uh dough. We roll the dough to keep it in that rectangle shape. I have a stick or help up with. Continue. I'm gonna drill the edges to give me a nice clean rectangle. So you could use a ruler, a bacon ruler, or just a straight stick I've got. I'll get all the edges. We need a clean presentation. So I want light croissant, so I made some measurements of the the croissant, 18 centimeters in the the width and the down is 6.5 centimeters, the top is 2 centimeters. So here are some calculations, some math here, work out your math. Okay, I'll place it in the dough and trim. You can use a pizza cutter or just a normal simple knife. I'll continue like that until I'll make my, uh, my whole croissant. This dough gives a croissant. And with the excess, you might I have two more croissants. So consider doubling this recipe or just dividing it into So now I have some chocolate bars because it's a croissant chocolate I put it in the center Dark chocolate use good quality chocolate. This is the star of the recipe
So I'm gonna let my croissant do proof for another uh, one hour or just 30 minutes, depending on you. After proof, brush with some egg wash and let's bake this guys for 13 to 16 minutes in a 220 degree oven. After these babies are baked, I let them cool and you could serve it. They're so good. It smells absolutely amazing in the kitchen. That bordery, it's such a nice delicious. You see those? I'm gonna cut through the croissant. You see those layers? They're amazing. This is what we hard for for, but I know it's a lot of waiting and patience, but it's really worth it. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. If you did, um, please subscribe, press notification bell. If you did like it, uh, give it a big thumbs up. And yep, that's how I make my chocolate croissant.